My name is Albert, I'm 19, I'm from Croatia and I'm trying to make a living out of selling Game Boys. In fact, I make Game Boys like this, they play retro games like Pac-Man and Space Invaders and Tetris and other Game Boy inspired games, but the main difference is that the thing comes disassembled. So you get a box like this, it's filled with electronic components and it has a PCB and you have to build it. So you have to take small components, put them inside and you actually look at the instructions online which tell you what every component does and in fact you need to learn something about electronics before being able to play games on it. So what we are trying to do is get kids into electronics through gaming because everybody loves video games these days and STEM toys and STEM tools, they are you know quite popular. Um, we had a successful Kickstarter campaign and our goal was $10,000 and we've collected over $100,000 on Kickstarter so the campaign boomed and yeah, we figured out that this can make uh, success on the global market. Uh, so I built a bit about the device. Uh, it has an SD card at the back like this. So as soon as you assemble it, you put the SD card inside and it has about 30 games on it preloaded that you can load. At the back is the microchip, the same as the one used in Arduino Uno. It has a slightly modified bootloader so that you can get, load games from the SD card. Here's the battery, the speaker at the back, and you can also adjust the backlight. It has some buttons as primary inputs, and also these yellow multiplayer ports so that you can connect them together and play multiplayer games. So here's the game selection menu, and here as you can see, I can select something like Tetris and load the game and yeah, play it. After you finish you know, building a device, you can code it, connect it to your PC, um, all the games are open source, in other words, you can take a look at how somebody made these Tetris, this Tetris game and, well, change it or, you know, learn something from its code. So, here you go, it plays Tetris are you, here. Are you able to install, like, Game Boy ROMs on it? Uh, no, generation? in fact, all the all games are written especially for the device, so it does no emulation because, you know, emulation equals copyright claims and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, but, you know, what we are trying to do is make a library of these open source games so that you can view the source code of every game, make your own games, share them with the community. We are really trying to push this community aspect. Where can people go to find more information and how much is the kit? Uh, on the MakerBuino, on, on the official site, so MakerBuino.com and the main kit is $59, so this one where you get everything, including the SD card and the battery and everything, it's $59, so the price range that we are trying to achieve is uh, the price range of a single PlayStation game, so we are trying to uh, explain to parents that you can buy this as an alternative to a single PlayStation game. I also have a couple of interesting items here, for example, this thing over here, it was the first Maker Win I ever made, so it all started with this one in 2014. Back then I wasn't even trying to push this on the market, I was just building them out of fun and people really liked the idea, so I decided to, well, make a Kickstarter campaign at some point. This is also, I think, fifth version of Maker We Know, and it had these uh, casings that were non-transparent and at one point I figured out that people liked seeing the innards because when you are building it, you like, bra you like to brag with you know, your soldering points.